So with the iPhone XR being Apple's first budget-friendly-ish phone in years, being released in only a couple of days, I thought it would be interesting to go through all of the specs and tell you what you need to know about the new iPhone XR. The first thing is the display, and yes, like a lot of outlets are reporting, it seems to be the biggest downgrade between the XS and the XR. While the XS has one of the best OLED displays in the industry, the iPhone XR brings it back to an LCD panel and even drops the pixel count from 458 to 326 ppi, essentially putting the XR display on par with the iPhone 8 display. Of course, it's no fun going from one of the sharpest, most rich and beautiful displays to something that stopped impressing people years ago, even though Apple is still claiming its LCD is better than ever, and has even given it a cute nickname, Liquid Retina. Hmm, it even sounds budgety. But while I can make fun of the display and Apple's marketing all day, I want to talk about the things that Apple didn't downgrade on the XR, and why it's probably going to be a pretty great phone. The first is Face ID, which on the XR was heavily rumored to be last gen's hardware from the iPhone X. That didn't happen, and Face ID is the same as it is on the XS, which is an improvement on the iPhone X. Then there's the camera, the most important part of a phone for some people, and again, the XR has the exact same specs as the XS, except for the second telephoto lens. Other than that, no features are lost, and I mean none. Even portrait mode and the depth slider are still present, and making the iPhone XR camera just as great as the iPhone XS. But most importantly for me, the iPhone XR includes the exact same A12 processor as the much more expensive XS. So yeah, that industry-leading processor that's still basically a generation ahead of the competition is the same one on Apple's newest budget phone. So when you break down that $750 price, yes, you're getting a lower-end display, but you're still getting that same great camera experience, that premium all-display design, and most important of all, that A12 processor. So on Friday when the new iPhone releases, I will be uploading an unboxing and impressions video, comparing it to the iPhone XS a little bit, before giving my full review about a week later. So hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see those, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys Friday. That's it.